166. explained in the middle paragraph from 166 that the world itself has infinite opportunities except people don't realize what opportunities are available and what they s what our opportunities they see as handicaps drawbacks and they see what is truly detrimental they see as opportunities he gave the the marshal Person, person builds a mansion with all kinds of amenities. People are blind. They go in, they trip, they break bones, they're injured <coughs> because they don't see where they're going. And they have the opportunity, they have the ability to take certain medication and they have the doctor there and they have no interest. So what happened? They walk in, they fall, and they're, they're cursing the one who brought them into that location. Where did you bring me? But if you open your eyes and you see where you're going and you see what's available and you're able to use it in a beneficial way, then you sing the praises of the person who brought you into that location. That's the same thing with this world. Kodesh Baruch created in this world infinite opportunities, have infinite value. Except what do people say, you know, you're restricting me. What is God? What are you doing to me? You put me in a straitjacket and in shackles, this and that, but a person doesn't understand. So he says, therefore the Chachomim and people of B'nai Mado, the wise men, people and people who have a grasp, they, they what? They awaken and give people an understanding of what the opportunities of life. Now, it's interesting, years ago, you had people in the uh, public school system that they were dedicated teachers. They dedicated their lives to, to education, to educate children that they felt that was their, that was their calling in life. You know, you had teachers, you used to have especially women, you know, some of them were spinsters. They never got married. They lived, they were married to, to, to their, uh, to their uh, occupation. That's what they did. They, to educate the generation that they should be able to be self-providers for themselves and understand and have all the, the amenities of, 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 of life. Mahavdil, Elf of those, the Chachom Divrei Mado. You know, what are you meddling in someone else's business? Rabbi this, that, you know, let me live my life as I choose. What are you talking about? You're, miss, you, you're, miss, you're, you're missing the boat. You're missing every aspect of life. This, this is really the concept called Yisrael Raven Zebuza. Jews are responsible for one another. Where Omra Chochem Yinazeh Dibri Chachomi Kedarvonos Kmasmeros and Turin Bali Asufos The words of the Chachomim are like Darvonos. You know what? Darvonos is a Darvon the Gemara says you have a, it's called a poker, except a poker is not a poker when you speak. A person has cattle, a herd, and the, or you have, a, you plow with an ox. What happens if the ox goes slightly offline? Off, off it break breaks the blade in the ground. So what do you have? You have a stick and it has a, a nail at the end. And you have it, and the moment the, the, the ox starts veering off course, he gets poked with this, with this nail. Right, and therefore, this keeps the ox on a straight, on a straight, narrow path. That that what? So the divri chacham kadarvonos uchmasmeros netuin. It's like pu putting a nail, securing something with a nail. Bali asufos. Dima chacham divri chacham darvonos binyan haoro. It's like awakening. It's like you know now you get it, so to say. You know, many years ago there was a person here used to come, used to visit, his name was Bruce Rappaport, and lived in Geneva. And he once told over a story, he used to come to the Shire. And he said, there was a story, this person had a, a donkey. This is a good story for you, probably. He had a donkey, and this donkey was like a miraculous type donkey. All you have to say is, please. Please this, please that. The moment you said, please, the donkey did exactly what the master wanted. So this other person hears about this miraculous donkey. He calls him up. He says, I'd like to buy it. He says, but you know, you realize <coughs> you're going to pay a hefty price for it. You know, this, this, this is not just an ordinary donkey. He says, I'm willing to pay anything. Buys the donkey, brings it to his 
property, and he loads it up. And he says, please, donkey. Donkey doesn't move. And he pulls it, please, doesn't budge. He realizes he's been duped. He's been cheated. He's upset. Goes back to the original owner. He says, you cheated me. Here, you, you sold me this, 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 this understanding that this donkey is miraculous. You only have to say, please, doesn't move. He says, impossible. I could tell you, say, please, it, 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 he, come, he says, I'll come to, come to your property. And he sees the donkey. And he says, T show me how you do it. <coughs> he says, okay. He says, please, donkey. Donkey doesn't move. This, he says, I forgot to tell you one thing. He picks up a block of wood, slams the donkey in the head. <laughs> and after he slams, he says, donkey, please. And the donkey listens. <laughs> That's the story. So, Divri Chachome Kim Asmeiro, Kedarvonos. You understand? It's similar to the poker with the pin. He says, It awakens the person. Like the Darvon says, now I get it. When you get stuck with that pin, I understand it. It only means to awaken the person. They're able to implant it as when you put that nail into whatever you're attaching, it's firm and secure. Their words actually penetrate the hearts of the people, that the people have an understanding to be able to value and grasp what's being communicated. And to maintain it, this wisdom within regarding one's neshama, it means those who, asufos means they, it's a, 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 an accumulation of knowledge which is recorded. Works which are works of wisdom that they are ongoingly for a person to be able to benefit and be, be a guide. Even after the author passes away, you know, a person disseminates, if it's himself, you disseminate only wh when you're alive. What about after you pass away? But if you record it and people are able to study your works, then even beyond the person's lifetime, therefore it's something which is permanent. Even though the person's no longer there, but if you go and you record it and you author the Sefer with the words of Chochmah, this is an ongoing guide, even beyond the person's lifetime. It's interesting, the, the concept also is a person that goes and mentors students. Rabbi Yisrael Salante had three Talmudim, three primary students. And each of them represented another aspect of what Rabbi Yisrael Salante said, what he, what, what he disseminated. And therefore, they were his so-called, so even after he passed away, right, the Talmud Torah of Kelm, which was Rabbi Simcha Zissel, the Alta of Kelm, he disseminated his position on, on what? On Musa, on the whole idea of of development of person, character, whatever it was. So again, it went beyond, beyond Reb, Reb Yisrael's life. And Reb Yisrael, and Reb Alta of Kelm, he mentored students, went beyond his lifetime, whoever those students were. And those students mentored other students. So it, it, it's, 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 it's self-perpetuating beyond to be continued. <laughs>